Mr. Fordham. Yes. It's Charles Holland from the National Vehicle Inspectorate. Yes. Calling about the problems that you've been having with a repair job that you seem to think you're not happy with. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Now, you've had one of your people casting their eye over it, I believe. He was not happy with the finish of the paint and he wasn't happy with the alignment of the bumper. And when I mentioned this, the attitude and aggression that I was showing was totally unacceptable. Did you set him off in some way, Mr Vordham? Did I set him off? Yeah. Why would I set him off? I pointed at something on the bumper. He disagreed with me. He told me that I didn't know what I was talking about. In fairness, he does have a point because he obviously works in the body shop and you don't. Right, that doesn't mean to say that I'm stupid and I don't know when something's not done correctly. He would not have called you stupid. You weren't there with all due respect and to be honest now, Charles, I don't like the way this conversation is going because you're now accusing me. You seem to have your hackles up with me just now and I'm independent on this. I don't have any hackles up. What I do know is approximately a year ago my BMW went in there to get repaired also. Are you accident prone? No. It's my first accident I had in 25 years and a deer ran out in front of me. Speeding? Was it speeding? What sort of question is this? Trying to ascertain the picture. Well, you don't need to ascertain a picture. I drive into work in a country road and a deer for running in front of me. The other thing, of course, is that now a courtesy car has been supplied, which under the terms of this would certainly have to be paid for as well. No, it wouldn't. I would suggest you speak to my insurance company. Yeah, I, I would... And then my insurance company can speak to me. What I'll do is, if you don't mind, I'll give you my email address and just communicate with me through email. I, I can, can tell see... you I'm the Prime Minister and you don't know that. Well, I know so clearly. I clearly know you're not the Prime I'll Minister. You, I'll give you my email address. You're easily flustered. Sir, email. you're easily flustered, and I can understand now I'll give you my, why. I'll give you my email address, Mr. Fordham. If I could get a word in, edgeways. If you can email me, then, Mr. Fordham. And then I'll speak to you because I know who you are, Mr. Fordham. I don't know how you've got my number, Lewis. That's L O U I S. Mr. Fordham. And then I'll shut up. I've got a small brain, and I'm really confused. I'm sorry, you've got a small brain. Yeah, I've got a small brain, so I'm, I'm finding it hard to understand how the insurance company can get an uh, inspector involved, an inspection company involved. They tell me it's okay, but now you're involved. I'm overruling the report. No, because how can you be independent of the overrule? You haven't spoke to anybody. I've seen the evidence. I've seen the paintwork. I've seen the bumper realignment. This is starting to get to me now. I'm starting to get a wee bit frustrated. I'm, I'm totally lost in how this is. My wife's calmed me down. Where did this leave me, sir? And how much is this car? £785. No, I'm sorry, I'm not agreeing to that. £700 for an Igo. Mm. For a couple of days. I could go to Arnold Clark and get one cheaper £24 a day. So you're telling me that you're not going to accept what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even paying anything. I don't even know what I'm agreeing to pay half for. Mr Fordham, you're on your holiday. I don't want to upset you. Well, I'm all upset. And your wife's calmed you down a bit. Well, she had at the time, but now you're starting to get my back railed again. I'm really finding it hard to comprehend in my head. Right. Well, Lewis, you did admit to me that you had a small brain earlier on. Yes. Uh, that's the way it feels just now. If I told you that your wife was in on this conversation and that it's Robin Galloway you're speaking to, and that you were set up by your daughter, Kirsten... Oh, brilliant, mate. <laughs> Climb and sink it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear this on the radio all the time and you think, oh, how did it fall for this? I didn't know whether to make the call or not because you were on your holidays. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, Robin. <laughs> Thanks for making my holiday. Okay, <laughs> cheers, buddy. <laughs> Mais là, il n'est pas là.